Hello everyone. This is We Dad reaching out to let you know we are thinking of you. We hope you and your loved ones are doing well during these disruptive times. As you know, the 16 days of activism against the gender-based violence campaign is approaching and we invite you to get ready and, if possible, to take action on social media. This global campaign kicks off on November 25th to December 10th. Since 1991, the uh, annual campaign has been active during the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women, that is, as we said, the 25th of November, and the International Human Rights Day, that is, the 10th of December. These dates have been chosen because violence against females is a violation of human rights. Its impacts are devastating to individuals and to society as a whole. When we speak about devastating impacts, we must take into consideration the current state of the world. And by that, I'm of course referring to the long-term and short-term effects of COVID-19, not to mention the enormous loss of lives and livelihoods. However, in the midst of all this, we must not forget the victims of gender-based violence. By and large, the international community is not just dealing with the COVID pandemic, which began nearly a year ago. We are also dealing with violence against females, a pandemic that has existed for far too long, and it affects one in three women in their lifetime. With the imposed coronavirus restrictions and lockdowns, the cases of domestic violence continue to rise. Women and children are trapped in homes with their abusers. We know that stress results in violence spikes. When the aggressors lose their jobs, for instance, their feeling of losing control may lead to a frustrating attempt to gain a, a false sense of control by becoming more violent. Therefore, policy actions to reduce the harm and to uh, find uh, safe places for the victims are more crucial than ever. On a related note, we are very concerned about the ongoing harassment and intimidation of women's rights defenders. This is happening in many countries where the deterioration of the rule of law and the shrinking of civil society spaces are daily uh, struggles. This year, let us lend our voices to women's rights defenders and to each and every survivor of violence, whether physical violence or psychological. We can do it in a safe way. We can wear something orange as I have done, take a photo and post it on social media in honor of the victims who have suffered and are suffering terribly. Our second update has to do with the International Simply Women Harmony Award. The ceremony was supposed to take place on November 20th. We were looking forward to gather under Tuscany's glorious sun in beautiful Italy to celebrate a new group of awardees. Yet, unfortunately, the celebration was postponed because of the COVID crisis. We know some of you may be disappointed, but please don't be. The ceremony will take place as soon as the public health conditions allow it. We'll get back to you whenever the green light is given to the organizing committee. Until then, Please 
stay safe and don't forget to orange your private space during the 16 days. Take care and thank you for hanging in there. A presto.